Good morning, everyone. My name is Christy Buckmiller, and I am at Gift Bible Study. So we are working through our Give Thanks Bible Study, and we are on lesson number eight. It's called Your Works. So we're going to be reading in portions, two different portions of the Bible. I just lost my page, so I am fixing it. We're going to be reading in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, and then we're going to be reading in Psalm, which is chapter 145. I'm not going to do the full reading because it's kind of a lot. You can, you can do this with your family as well. If you're just if you have the Give Thanks workbook from Gift Bible Study, you don't have to do the whole entire thing. You can lessen it for your age level of your kids. It already is lesson for less for the new reader, but and then the preschooler. But depending on how advanced they are. But anyway, so I am going to read starting in a second. Chronicles chapter 7. I am going to start in verse 13. If I shut up heaven, that there will be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people which are called by my name, this is a very common a lot of people know the this verse and it's a really it's a really good verse it's so reassuring if we go back to him if we call him what is he gonna do if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven he will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Praying, praying, turning from our wicked ways, praying, that's what he requires. And now my eyes shall be open. So we're, he is saying, if you read, I, I skipped this part, but he is saying this in the, in the temple. So God filled the temple with his glory and he is in the Temple Mount, so they're on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. So we've got to get this in our minds. And my eyes shall be opened, and my intent unto their prayer that it is made in this place. So he's in this temple. For now have I chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever in my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually so he is saying he's putting his name and his heart and his eyes in this place and saying it's going to be there for forever so jerusalem is going to be there that's that's where god put his name so it's important that we protect that area and we are there for the people that are of God. So that that is where his name is in, at, in Jerusalem. So we're going to move to Psalm 145. I will exalt thee, my God, O King. I will bless thy name forever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. Are you declaring and praising God to your kids one generation to another? I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of thy mighty terrible acts and I will declare thy greatness. They shall ab abundantly utter 
the memory of great goodness and shall sing thy righteousness. And the Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger. He's slow to anger and of great, great mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all of his works. His tender mercies are over his works. And all the thy works shall praise thee, O Lord. Thy saints shall bless thee. We need to bless him. We, we bless him. We bless his name. Thy shall speak of the glory of the king and talk of thy power and make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Are you making known of all of his goodness and all of his greatness to your children? It is our duties. We've got to say it when they wake up. We got to say it in the day. We got to say it when they lay down. Just declare it. Tell them stories of what he's done and just the greatness, whether it's in the Bible or if it's in your life or it's in somebody's life, somebody else's life that you know. The Lord upholded all them that fall and rises up them all that bow down. So he upholds us when we fall down. And he rises those up who bow down. So no, we've got to lower ourselves so he can rise us up. The eyes of all wait upon thee and thou givest them their their meat in due season thou open up thy heart thine heart and satisfy the desire of every living thing the lord is righteous in all of his ways and holy in all of his works he's righteous in all of his ways and he's holy in all of his works the lord is near Unto all them that call. He's near us. Who all that call. Don't ever forget it. Don't forget. Don't think oh God's forgotten me. He doesn't know me. No. He knows you. And he is near to you. When you call upon him. And you lower himself. You will receive your breakthrough. Know it. He, it is coming. He will not forsake you upon him and all that call upon him in truth do you call upon him in truth do you use do you know that who his name is do you know the name of god our name of the name of our god that we serve is jesus that's who we serve he came god is a spirit and he was manifested in flesh and his name is jesus he will Fulfill the desires of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. He will fulfill our desires and he will save us. My, the Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Yes. Every name, every body, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. There is no other saving name but Jesus. So I hope that did y'all good this morning, just praising him and being in his awe. I've been loving this Give Thanks study. It, it puts me back to perspective of just praising the Lord. He's good. He's good. We need to just put that all over our minds and keep it there. And just what it does to us is amazing. So if you don't know, a gift dot, or giftbiblestudy.com has a Give Thanks lesson for for your the advanced, which is for the parent, the junior, which is for the teenager, in your house at the elementary which is like your bigger kid and then your new reader is your little kid the you know five six seven year old and then you have your little preschooler one that's just like coloring pages a little tracing that is for you for free there is a sample right now for a lesson one 
of the Give Thanks Bible Study. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you sit down with your kids and do this together. I got a little one over here coughing. He's not feeling that great. Um, he's trying to sleep, and I'm waking him up. So, anyways, we love you very much, and I'm so grateful that you joined me right here, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!